one more Comfo Buds Pro versus Soundcord Liberty Air 2 Pro? That is the question that has been coming up time and time again in the comment sections of my videos. And in this video, I'm gonna be telling you which one is gonna be the right one for you based on sheer performance. Now, if you're interested in checking out either of these earbuds, check out the links in the description box down below. And if you have any questions or concerns about the way that I review or receive any of these products, I'm also gonna leave the full disclosure right down there as well. So let's not waste any more time. So first, let's talk about the similarities. So both of these earbuds are running Bluetooth 5.0 along with AAC and SBC as their connection codecs. Both of them are also gonna give you right around 35 feet to 40 feet worth of range. So anywhere from around 10 to 12 meters, give or take. Both of them also have minimal to little latency when watching videos, but as far as gaming performance goes, you will notice a little bit of latency if you're gonna be playing first person shooter games. Neither of these are exactly gaming earbuds, but they can get the job done if you're just playing casual games. Now, both of these are also featuring a stem style design, so they kind of sit in your ear with the ear tip and they come down, and both of them are also IPX4 water resistant. As far as microphones, they're both featuring triple mic arrays, so essentially three microphones per ear. And then last but not least, they both feature in-ear detection, and that's basically where you can put them in your ear and it'll automatically play it. When you pull them out, it'll pause itself. As far as the similarities, that's pretty much it. So let's move forward. First and foremost, let's talk about the comfort. Now, as usual, I'm gonna preface this by saying that comfort is highly subjective because all of our ears are different. So what is comfortable for me and my large ears may not apply to you. So make sure that you take this with a grain of salt. But as far as comfort is concerned, both of them are comfortable, but the Liberty Air 2 Pro have a slightly smaller overall size. They are less noticeable while wearing, and they do feel a bit more comfortable, at least to my own ears. Now that is not to say that the one mores are not comfortable because they are, but I was just talking about one of them being slightly more comfortable than the other. And for that, I have to give the Liberty Air 2 Pro the win when it comes to comfort. So now let's move over to the battery and the case. Now, testing was done with both these earbuds set at both off and with their ANC in their strongest settings. So try to keep it as fair as possible. Now the Comfort Buds Pro, they managed to pull off seven hours and 48 minutes with noise cancellation turned off, and then six hours and three minutes with noise cancellation turned on. The Liberty Air 2 Pro, they pulled off seven hours and 21 minutes with noise cancellation turned off, and five hours and 46 minutes with noise cancellation turned on. Now, as far as cases are concerned, the Comfo Buds Pro give you an additional 28 hours with the case, where the Liberty Air 2 Pro give you an additional 26 hours with the case. Both of them are using USB-C for charging, but only the Liberty Air 2 Pro give you wireless charging with their case as well. So as you can see up here on the screen, just based on pure performance alone, the One More Comfo Buds Pro are gonna take the win for battery and playback time. Unless you're somebody who really, really values that wireless charging ability, at that point, you're gonna to wanna to go with the Liberty Air 2 Pro. But just for sheer performance, one more, they've got it in the bag here. So now let's move over to the ambient sound. So the One More ambient sound is slightly louder than the Liberty Air 2 Pro. So like a bit more volume just right when you turn it on. But on the other hand, the Liberty Air 2 Pro is giving you dual modes for their ambient sound. So it seems like the Liberty Air 2 Pro is actually a little bit better at reducing the background noise with improved focus on voices. And they do give you those two options where you can have the full ambient or where you can just have it focus on voices. And it does very good at distinguishing between the two. For me personally, while both of these are excellent at their ambient slash transparency modes, the win here is going to go for the Liberty Air 2 Pro. So that's going to bring us over to the active noise cancellation. So the way that I tested for this is I run airplane cabin noise. So it, like you're inside of a jetliner when it's at cruising altitude. So I use 85 decibels of that airplane cabin noise. And then I'll put both of these earbuds in their strongest noise cancellation setting. And I'll test them from there with my own ears to see which one is giving me better performance. So first, the one more. The Comfo Buds Pro were better at reducing the mid frequencies as well as the low frequencies. So definitely some strong noise cancellation happening here, where the Liberty Air 2 Pro were actually tending to struggle with the mid frequencies, but were very good at tuning out the lows. So overall, the win here for noise cancellation is definitely gonna go to the one mores because you can audibly hear a difference in the strength of that noise cancellation. I was actually kind of surprised myself because when I was first just kind of trying them out casually, I couldn't tell much of a difference. But once I made sure I used the exact same tips and I was doing this test in a controlled way, 
you can definitely hear the difference. Now next, let's move over to their companion apps because they both have companion apps. One More has a One More Music app and Soundcore has the Soundcore app. Now the One More app is functional, but it does need some work. Sometimes it tends to crash on me when I'm using it on Android. So that's just one of the things that they might have to work on. Now, what it does offer you is the ability to do firmware updates, change the different control settings so you can change what the touch controls do, adjust between the different sound modes. So it does give you some of those types of options but it's very basic. There is no EQ, no presets, or no sound quality adjustments here. Now, as far as the Soundcore app, it is easily superior. It's much more robust. It is much more fleshed out, and it's never given me any issues with crashing, whether it's on iOS or on Android. They're offering you a full graphic equalizer, the Hear ID Hearing Test, where it'll give you a custom tune based on your own hearing. You also get the 22 presets. You get touch control configuration schemes in there as well, along with the different sound modes, so you can go through your three active noise cancellation modes and the two transparency modes, along with for more updates and a bunch of different settings. Overall, it's also much cleaner and much easier to navigate. So as far as the companion app, the Soundcore app is going to be a win for the Liberty Air 2 Pro. So now let's move over to the volume. And for the volume, there is a clear winner and that's going to be the One More Comfo Buds Pro. So let's say you've got the Liberty Air 2 Pro at their maximum volume. At their maximum volume, that's about 90% of what you're getting out of the Comfo Buds Pro. So it's like two, maybe three ticks louder. So, and it's something you can easily hear the difference in. Now, for me personally, and just let me make this clear, for me personally, both of these are more than loud enough. I don't listen to either of these at 80 or 90 or, or 100%. I'm not that person. I'm trying to protect my hearing. And I suggest you do the same. But if you're somebody who needs that extra bit of volume, maybe you are hard of hearing, then the Comfort Buds Pro are definitely gonna be the ones that you wanna go with here. Now let's go ahead and segue over to the sound quality. Now the Liberty Air 2 Pro are very good and they are very versatile when it comes to being able to EQ them to your taste within their app. They have strong bass, they have you know a very dynamic punchy sound, especially in their signature mode. Now personally, I like to use the piano EQ preset and then I'll go in and then I'll adjust that one myself, add a little more bass, so it kind of rounds out the sound a little bit. So overall, it does sound very good. On the downside, it sort of lacks a little bit of that sound stage and some of the separation sometimes can get a bit muddy, especially if you start really picking it up into the higher volume ranges, which I really don't mess with anyway. But if you're kind of approaching that 90% volume, 95% volume, sometimes it can get a little out of whack in there. So you gotta be careful with that. As far as sound quality for the one more, it is excellent. And the tuning itself, just right out of the box, is excellent. It is warm, it is rich. And as I said in the video for the one mores, that tuning is exactly what I prefer. Like if I had the ability to EQ them myself, I would try to EQ them to the way that they sound already. Basically, that's what I would do. I wouldn't have to touch them. So the, the bass on them is perfect. It's tight. Uh, it isn't overpowering and it doesn't muddy up the mids. And then you have the mids, which are nice and smooth and relaxed and nice and warm. So to me, I really, really enjoy it. And then the treble is nice and crisp. And they even give you some good stage, some good separation so you can hear the different instrumentation. So I am very, very impressed. And although I shouldn't be because One More always brings it when it comes to that tuning. Now for me personally, there is no EQ required on the One Mores. I can listen to them just the way they are right out of the box, no problems. Now, here's what it's gonna come down to really what you prefer. But for me personally, when you consider the price tags here, 129 on the Liberty Air 2 Pro versus $99 on the One More Comfo Buds Pro. For me personally, the money better spent is going to be on the One More Comfo Buds Pro. That's just me personally. Now, I love both of these earbuds, but if it's just gonna be for my own listening pleasure, I'm gonna pick up the One Mores. That's just me. And that's not to say that the Liberty Air 2 Pro are bad because they are not. They are absolutely not bad. But just for me personally, based on these two, less money, better sound quality, I'm gonna go with the One Mores, but that's just me. Now, let's get into some call quality samples, and this way you can hear which one of them is gonna be better for you, both indoors and outdoors. All right, and here we have the Soundcore Liberty Air 2 Pro. So testing, testing, one, two, three. Obviously, indoor environment, semi-quiet. So this is the kind of mic quality performance you can expect out of them. Testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, so here we have the One More Comfo Buds Pro indoors. 
So testing, testing, one, two, three. So this is the kind of call quality you can expect from them indoors in a semi-quiet environment. Testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, so here we have the call quality test for the Soundcord Liberty Air 2 Pro. So testing, testing, one, two, three. Outdoors, it's actually pretty breezy today. So this should make for a good test. Testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, so here we have the call quality test for the One More Comfo Buds Pro. So testing, testing, one, two, three. Obviously, we're outdoors once again. Pretty breezy out here. Nothing too crazy. Cars going by. So it should make for a good test. Testing, testing, one, two, three. So with all that said, if you want to check out the full reviews of either of these earbuds, check out the videos that I'm going to leave right up here. If you want to see my other top five for true wireless earbuds with noise cancellation under 100 bucks, check out the video that I'm going to leave right here. With that said, I'm out. Peace.